I say this all the time, but um, being sober uh, should not be the point of your life. Um, it should be a byproduct of the life that you live. Uh, six years ago, I was um, at the end of myself. Um, I was looking at um, seven years in prison, um, possible deportation. Um, life had just gotten unmanageable. And um, I put my worth um, in a person, and, and that never goes well, um, because inevitably uh, there comes a day where um, they tell you you're not good enough. And, and really that's, um, that's the banner I would have put over my, over my life at that point, um, just not good enough. In the midst of it all, uh, I found my way to 180. Um, my mom was kind enough to make a call uh, that I asked her to make because I knew I couldn't make it. And um, on August 28th, uh, 2012, um, I entered 180 Ministries uh, broken, uh, hurting, um, just wanting life to be different. And um, that was the best decision I've ever made, um, but it's also the hardest. God kept just restoring things that had just been um, in me for, for the better part of a decade, um, just taking them from me one by one um, and healing me from it. And, um, and I had all this court stuff going on. Um, I didn't know how everything was gonna play out. Um, I remember praying daily um, for guidance for him just to take it from me, um, that whatever his will was, that's what I would do and I would be okay with it. Um, but every time I had a court date and every time I came home, I felt like the pressure just kept growing and kept growing and kept growing um, until finally um, I got to my sentencing day and, um, and everything changed. Um, my judge changed, the, the district attorney changed, and um, all of a sudden I was not looking at uh, seven years. Um, instead I got three years probation. Um, and uh, when I went to my first probation appointment, um, the immigration ICE um, agents were there waiting for me. And I spent the 10th month of my program um, in, in an immigration holding tank. And uh, my charges somehow, um, like they dismissed them. They dismissed uh, my federal case. And I got to stay, um, I got to stay here. And I got to be a, a, be a dad, um, or at least had that chance, you know? And then um, I graduated um, August 13th, um, 2013. Um, I remember I started uh, volunteering there that night. Um, you know, it was incredible. Um, you know, I would, I would just I would take the guys to church and we would talk and I would, I would just, you know, keep trying to like drive hope into their hearts for that journey that they are on, um, having been through it myself. And, um, and I just, I never knew what the future held. I didn't, I didn't know if I was ever going to meet someone. I didn't know if there was really anybody out there that would be able to, you know, who would want me, who would, who would want to deal with all my baggage, who would, who would accept me for who, who I am and, and, and who I've been, um, and who would be a part of that journey. Um, and so for three years after 180, um, I, I, I was alone <laughs> and, um, and I needed to be. Um, God was preparing me. Uh, you know, I was, I was learning how to be uh, a dad again. I was learning how to be a man again, how to stand on my own two feet. Um, I went and got my bachelor's in, uh, in biblical studies at CCU. Uh, and then um, one day this beautiful lady's number ended up on a blue post-it note, uh, pencil written. Um, and it was on my Bible, and um, my mom had put it there. And so we started a texting relationship for the better part of three weeks, right? And then we met at a 180 event, and so that night we all, the, the group of us women went to this event, and we met for the first time, so. I, I, remember, <laughs> I remember seeing her, um, it was at the, um, 
at the end, um, she was sitting there, she was playing on her phone, and I just, um, she was waiting for me because we were trying to find each other. And, uh, and I just remember, I like looked over and I just remember like, yes please, yeah, I would, I'll, I'll have some of that. <laughs> Somehow God just took like two broken halves of a family and he made them whole, you know? And um, it's been good. It's been really good. And we have, uh, we have four boys. Um, you know, they're a beautiful mess most days, <laughs> <laughs> but they are, they are phenomenal and I, I wouldn't trade any of it. I really wouldn't. Um, you know, if, if this is what I had to go through in order to get to where I am and there was no other way to go through it, um, I would do it all over again. Um, you know, going into 180 was like, it was the best decision I've ever made. It was the hardest decision I've ever made. Um, and yet, um, just that program, it changes you. Um, even when you don't think you are being changed, um, little bit by little bit, you're just being refined. And um, one day you kind of look back and, and you go, and I'm not, I'm not that guy anymore. You know, I'm not that, I'm not that person. Um, and I like to say it like this, but small steps, um, small changes over a long period of time lead to very big changes and and that's 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 my story